the Inglo tutorial and review. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to review the Inglo and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Teen Blue, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Teen Blue, it is a comprehensive app designed for Shopify merchants focused on print on demand and personalized products, in which it enables users to easily add extensive customization options to a wide variety of items such as t shirt mugs, and posters thereby enhancing the shopping experience for customers. And the app features an intuitive interface that includes mock-up generator and real-time preview capabilities. And now to create an account, just click the link in the description, or you could also click the Get Started button on the top right corner. But before that, you could also navigate here, the feature it offers with this kind of demo in here, in which it will show you a variety of elements in here that you can start navigating and also customizing. We have your clip art, photo, text, star map, street map, and many more. So for example, I'm going to enter here the art, and it will show you on the website panel that it has been changing as I start customizing it. And now to start using this platform, you can click the Get Started button in the top right corner. Then you will be directed on this page or on this Shopify app store. So make sure that you also log in or sign in to your Shopify account in here before start installing the application. Or alternatively, you could also direct in here by clicking these apps and click all recommended apps in here. And in this pop-up window, just click the Shopify App Store button below. Then you will be directed on the next tab in which from here, just simply search on the search bar, T in blue. And upon searching on this result, it will show you in here the application, so kind of click on it. Then you will be directed again on this page, where it will show you the overview in here. And upon installing this application, you will be able to see here that the button that says open. So kind of click on it. And after that, you will be directed on this page right here. So this is basically what it looks like of the inbloom.com dashboard, in which on the left side panel, you can start navigating some other options. We have here bulk fulfill campaigns, product base, artworks, assets, and many more. And aside from that, before we start creating a personalized products, we can simply also click or choose our fulfillment providers. By clicking this one, it will show us in here the list of fulfillment providers that we can choose from. Let's say I'm going to choose Printify. By simply clicking this connect button right here, we will be directed on this page. And to start connecting this Printify on this thin blue, just simply log into your Printify account that comes. And from here, it will show you that my Printify account is also connected to my Shopify account in here. So after signing into your Printify, in order to connect the in blue, all you need to do from here is simply click this connections to proceed. Then you will be directed on this page where it will show you where the API key in which from here just click this generate button in order to see the API. Then enter here the token name. For instance, I'm going to enter here T in blue and after that just click this generate token button to proceed. And now it will show you in here the API key. So all you need to do is simply select this one and copy it then paste in here. Then you can claim the click this test this API key and if it is valid, we cannot proceed by simply saving this by clicking the save button below to proceed. And now that we successfully connect our fulfillment providers, we cannot proceed by going to the next step, which is by creating or choosing a product base from Printify. So to do that, can you click this product base button? Let's simply choose the import product on the top right corner. And to select a provider, can you click this Printify button? And it will show you a variety of product that you can choose from or print on demand. But in those options, let's say I'm going to choose this product that I find on Printify, which is Unisex Jersey Long Sleeve Tea. And to search for it, can I search in here? So can I enter here Unisex Jersey Long Sleeve? And just click the import button below to proceed. And from here, just select your print provider by clicking this one. And after that, just click the import button to proceed again. But you could also select an option in here that is available. And upon clicking the import button, we will now be able to be directed in here in which it will show us that the product base has now been added. And by clicking this edit product, we will automatically be directed in here where we can start customizing some other details about this product. And to customize or change the prices, just scroll down until you find this very bottom under variants. And on this price USD section, just enter here the price for this unisex jersey 
for instance, I'm going to enter here $50. And after that, we cannot proceed by going to the next step, which is by creating an artwork that we want to input or print on that product and by clicking this new artwork button on the top right corner. From here on this pop up window, we just enter here the name of your artwork details. For example, I'm going to enter here jersey design. While under this artwork size, you could also choose custom size for import a print area size. Then below, you just click or choose the product, which is this unisex jersey. And after that, just click the save button below to proceed in here. And after that, from here, we can now start designing using on the left side panel, such as by searching an image or by uploading an image from our computer files. Or you could also choose some other design that is uploaded in here. And after reloading this page, just simply click select and it will show you that the design is now automatically uploaded in here. So you can simply navigate to change the sizes in here and also change the location on this design area. And aside from this image, you could also add here a text if you want to by clicking this text on the left side panel. It will show you that you can start adding a context in here and also start customizing the context that you prefer to add on this design by simply clicking this icon just enter here the context that you prefer for instance i'm going to enter here be the best team wins and i'm going to input at the top of the logo and from here you could also start customizing the text to make it bold and even change the font style font size and even font color of it and if you also want to make this logo personalized kind of click this personalization option and click upload a photo and below just choose the option title and for instance, I'm going to enter here your logo. And after that, below here, you could also set some other options, such as to upload as an editor, to set a minimum size, and many more in here. And aside from that, let's say we're going to add here another context, which is can be personalized. And to do that, can you proceed by simply clicking this text button again in here. But at this point, I'm going to enter here a name. For instance, I'm going to enter here the name John B. Then proceed by clicking personalization settings button. And just click enable personalization and for the option title i'm going to enter here your name so basically the customer can simply enter their name in here to personalize or customize this logo or design and if you're now done just click the save button on the top right corner to proceed in which the next thing that we need to do is to simply add or create a campaign by clicking the campaigns button on the left side panel then choose by product base and from here just click new campaign button on the top right corner then enter here the campaign title and click the save button below to proceed. Then from here you can simply click this plus button and select the available products and I'm going to choose this jersey. And also after that just upload or select your artwork which is this one. And after selecting we can now proceed by simply changing this mock-up picture by clicking this icon in here. In which we will be directed on this page right here where we can start adding a print area for the front and start customizing to make the design fitted on this print in which it will serve as our mock-up picture or design and if you're now done designing it to your shirt just click the save button on the top right corner to proceed and after that it will show in here what it looks like or the mock-up picture and now to proceed publishing it just click the launch button on the top right corner to be published on Shopify and upon clicking on it it will show us on this pop-up window that we first need to activate the application and to do that can I click this activate up then we will be directed on here and after activating just click the save button on the top right corner and after saving it we can now proceed by going back on this page again and click the launch button on the top right corner to publish it and after it has been published we can simply go back in our online store on Shopify and let's see what it looks like so as you can see we've now successfully import this product from our team blue personalizer into our Shopify online store and overall, that is just basically how you can use the Invo. Thank you.